Welcome. This is Mycroft Soundbites. Uh, we're doing a short series to get you started on Mycroft skill development. I am Gez. I'm Stratus. The last video, uh, we looked at the Mycroft skills kit and creating uh, a really basic template skill. Uh, and this video, we're going to have a look at what files that created for us. Um, and that'll show us the anatomy of a very simple Mycroft skill. So we're going to hop on over to the command line now and we'll pick it up over there. So here we are in, we're currently in uh, slash op slash Mycroft slash skills. Uh, and we can see that we have half a dozen files and a single directory. The license.md was automatically generated um, based on the license we picked. The readme.md was automatically generated with all of the input that we put into the Mycroft skills kit. So if you missed that video, jump there or there, or I have no idea where it's going to show up. <laughs> um, so the bulk of our skill lives in init.py. Um, so this is where our Python code lives. So by default, because it's a simple skill, it's all going to be in one file. Um, here we can see we import the micro skill class. We import an intent file handler, which is a decorator. We set up our particular skill, um, the class for our particular skill and, and inherit from the, the micro skills class. And then we create our um, just one intent for, the, for this simple skill um, using that decorator um, with the intent file passed into it. So that intent file contains sample phrases that we put into Mycroft MSK. You can have a look at that. Do you like flavor ice cream? So anytime someone says something like, do you like chocolate ice cream? Do you like mint ice cream? It should trigger this intent. The other file in locale uh, was our dialogue file, um, which is you know, what Mycroft will say in response. So coming right up or chocolate, sure thing, are our two possible responses at the moment. So if we jump back into init.py, you can see our intent handler gets set up. We grab the flavor from the message object that gets passed in and then we report that back so we pass that flavor variable back to the dialogue so that it can it can use that if it wants to in the dialogue and then we create the skill and that lets Mycroft pick it up and load it uh, so it's all good to go that's all that you would require for, for a basic skill there's two other files that that we have here that we might use so settings meta.yaml is how we can define our, our skill settings. So there are things that a user might want to configure, um, particularly if they're difficult to configure via voice, then we can use settings meta to create fields that will show up under home.microft.ai slash skills. And if you, if you haven't used Microft much before, then, then jump in there and you, you'll see all your skills and the ones that have something that you might configure. And then the other file we have in there is our manifest. This is where we can define some dependencies. So if, as we build out our skill to do more and more things, we might realize that we need some Python packages or some system packages, or even another skill uh, that needs to be installed on the device for, for our skill to be able to work properly. So we can define all those in there. Um, and then when people install them, the Microsoft skills manager is going to make sure that those dependencies are all installed correctly as well. And that's it. That's our skill. So uh, that was short and sweet, just to complement the first video. And this, uh, in the first video, we just used MSK to set up a skill and kind of a hello world ice cream shop skill. And in this one, we just touched on some of the files that it creates for us. So it creates manifest files and it creates the settings meta file. Uh, but most importantly, it sets the intent file and the dialogue file and an initial Python file that can be loaded and read by Mycroft. So for all intents and purposes, we have a working skill right now that simply replies to what type of flavor of ice cream that you like. Um, and so that's kind of it for this one. And that, that kind of ties off the Mycroft MSK bit. And if you have Mycroft running on the device already, it should, should be able to respond to whatever your sample phrase was right now. Um, there's obviously a lot more that goes into skill development. We're going to cover a bit more in future videos, but also check out doc.microft.ai um, to find out more about intent files, um, 
you know, dependencies, all, all the different parts that go into to building a, a more detailed skill. Sounds good. So we'll see you on in another uh, Mycroft soundbite. See you next week.